Welcome to Flutter Teacher. So far we have seen list view, list view builder, and comparison between them. In this video, we will deep dive in list view dot separated constructor. Along with the regular use of this constructor, I will provide a way to make the use of this constructor to solve a real life problem like showing ads after some elements. So without wasting time, let's get started. List2.separated is the name constructor from ListView class that allows us to create on-demand scrolling list of items with separator between them. It has got three required properties, item builder, separator builder, and item count. Here, the item builder and separator builder requires a callback function containing build context and index as the parameter. From this item builder, we should return a widget that represents an individual item in the list. And separator builder is the place where means from where we have to return a widget that represents separator between each item in the list in this case we can specify here the divider or we can design the separator as per our requirement let's see the basic example of adding separator between the list of users for managing the users we have a model class called user containing name image and profession and in order to have some predefined users that is to have some data here we simply have a list of users here that contains 20 different users having some name and images. You can see here I imported this user file and inside this list you dot separated for the item count I'm using here users dot length and as a separator I'm simply retaining a divider that contains height of a one pixel. Now if you want to increase the gap between these you can simply increase the height for this divider or if you don't want to go with divider you can use the widget whatever you would like to go with. And as item builder, I'm simply using here the list type, where for the leading, I'm using the circle avatar, and for the image, I'm simply using here, say, users dot uh, index of that specific image, so that I can access the individual image of that user. And for showing the name, I'm simply using a title with the text, uh, with, say, users dot name, and for the subtitle, I'm using here, say, users dot profession. So this is how we have created the list and you can observe here each element in the list has got a separator that is it has got this nice divider of height of one pixel and the observable thing here is after this last element there won't be any divider and one more thing here before the first element also there is no divider now let's understand the excellent use of a separator builder to display manual ads after some specific number of items in this case i use the ads here instead of ads we can have some custom elements here so let's understand the logic behind this. You can see here inside this separator builder with the use of this index, I have created a logic that is going to put add after every second element in the list. Now instead of second element, if you want the add to be displayed after every third element, so simply you have to change this to, to say three and you have to simply change this rate to say four. And when I save the code, you will observe now add is appearing after every third element in the list. And if I want to go for the fifth element, let's say right here fifth and we have to change it to the sixth. So let's save here. You can observe now add is coming after the fifth element in the list. So this is how this logic is going to work. And in order to simply print the advertise what I have done, I have first of all checked that if this uh, condition is satisfied, means uh, the logic for displaying the add is there, then, then and then only I'm displaying a list style here that contains some leading. For this leading, I use some say orange color here with the text and uh, we have this advertise here so instead of this advertise uh, we can display whatever thing that we have in case of telling so it is not just about what to display it's about you means what you want to display here instead of this advertise and if this condition is false means if this condition is not meeting so that thing we have to display here and for that reason i'm simply retaining a size box with the width and height of zero pixel so that if this condition is not meeting here so it will uh, it, it, it will simply display the size box uh, without anything and uh, for this item builder we simply have our uh, library style with say leading title and subtitle now for learning the remaining properties of list dot separated watch the list view video where i have covered them in detail that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos